Australian mathematics curriculum. We're looking at the index laws, powers of products, and powers of fractions. We've already looked at what happens if we have terms inside a bracket raised to a power, but let's just have another look at it. If we expand this out, 2a all to the power of 3 means 2a times 2a times 2a. Now we know that we can rearrange a multiplication, so that's 2 times 2 times 2 times a times a times a. And we know from our index laws, just from dealing with indices really, 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed, a times a times a is a cubed. If we simplify that, remembering that our coefficients get evaluated when we've got algebra, 2 cubed we know is 8, we have 8a cubed. Now in the index laws we're always trying to look for a shortcut, so we look for the shortcut here, and this line here is our most useful one. You can see that everything in the bracket, the 2 and the a, has been raised to the power of 3. We don't need these two lines. We can skip straight to this line and our answer. So this gives us a rule when we have powers of products. A rule in algebra, a product, here it's a times b, product is times, in a bracket, all raised to a power, means we raise all parts of the product to that power. In words, when a product in brackets is raised to a power, everything in the brackets is raised to that power. raise all parts of the product to that power. So some examples. Inside the brackets, 3xy all to the power of 3. We'll do 3 cubed times x cubed times y cubed. We can evaluate the coefficient. 3 cubed is 27. Remove our time signs. 27 x cubed y cubed. A little harder one now. Inside the brackets 6a squared b all squared. So we're squaring all of that. Now one of these already has a power. So we remember our rule when there's a power in the brackets, raised to a power outside the brackets, we multiply our powers. So I need to do 6 squared times, now a is already squared, so a becomes to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4, times b, b had the power of 1, so it just keeps 1 times 2 is 2. Remember to evaluate 6 squared, 6 times 6 is 36, a to the power of 4, b to the power of 2. Now the same rule works with powers of fractions, but let's just use our method of expanding it out to see what happens. Here we've got 1 over 2, or a half, cubed. We know that cubed would mean a half times a half times a half. And we know that when we multiply fractions, we multiply all the numbers on the top and all the numbers on the bottom. So that would be 1 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 2 times 2. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. But really, that's 1 cubed. 
2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed. If we wanted the answer, as I said, 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1, and we know 2 cubed is 8. So a half cubed is 8. Now remember, our aim is always to find ourselves a shortcut. Here's the line of working that shows us the shortcut. One, cu one, and a half, sorry, one half cubed is the same as one cubed over two cubed. We raise the top and the bottom, denominator and the numerator, of the fraction to that power. If it's numbers in the fraction, we can evaluate it. If it's just algebra, we could leave it in index form in the fraction. So the rule that we get when I've got a fraction raised to a power, I raise the numerator to that power, and I raise the denominator to that power. Raise numerator and denominator to the power. So some examples. I have two fifths squared. That will be two squared over five squared. And if they don't say to leave it in index form, so they usually won't, two squared is four, five squared is twenty-five. Check if we can simplify the fraction. We can't. The next one has an algebraic fraction, and we're being complicated because we have a product. So we're combining two rules. I'm going to have to raise 2a to the power of 3, remembering that's 2 cubed times a cubed. And then I've got to do x to the power of 3. Because I've got an algebraic term and a coefficient, I can evaluate my coefficient. 2 cubed we know is 8. I've got 8a cubed over x cubed. So a power or a fraction in brackets raised to another power, you raise everything in the brackets to that power.